Hello learners, how are you today? I am Mr. Sandy Alvaro, your science teacher. Our topic for today is weather disturbances, science 5, quarter 4, week 3. After going through this module, you are expected to attain the objectives. Characterize weather disturbances in the Philippines and describe their effects to daily life. Review. What are the effects of soil erosion? What can you see in the picture? Denuded forests or forests without trees. How about this one? Drought or loss of soil fertility. Another Blood. And this picture is destruction of houses. And the last one is death of human and animals. I sing a song about weather. Are you ready? Did you enjoy the song? Now, what can you say about the pictures? What have you observed about the weather condition? What do you think is supposed to happen? Weather disturbance a general term that describes any pulse of energy moving through the atmosphere. They can act as focusing mechanism for storm formation or even to intensify low pressure systems. These are the type of weather disturbances. Number one, typhoon or hurricane. Two, Tropical cyclones. 3. Tornado. What is typhoon or hurricane? A, a large heat engine where great amounts of heat are being produced from the process of latent heat of condensation. Another definition of typhoon or hurricane is both are names of tropical storms and most of their characteristics are the same. We have wind speeds that are more than 74 mph and are accompanied by 
hail, storm winds, storm surge, and rain. What is the difference of hurricane and typhoon? Hurricane comes from the word huracan, which means big wind. It was originally a term used by the Native Americans for storms that originated in West Atlantic. While typhoon is derived from the Chinese Taipan, which means great wind, and referred to winds that develop in the North Pacific. Causes of tropical cyclones Water temperatures of at least 26.5 degrees centigrade. Rapid cooling with high, high humidity. Low amounts of wind shear. A need to form more than 555 kilometers or 5 degrees of latitude away from the equator pre-existing system of disturbed weather. Typhoons in the Philippines Around 19 tropical cyclones or storms, the Philippine Atmospheric Physical and Astronomical Services Administration Pagasa releases tropical cyclone warnings in the form of public storm warning signals. The condition and environment before typhoon. What to do before the typhoon? People tune in to the radio and television to learn the developments of the coming storm. They prepare enough food and flashlight in case of power failure. Some people strengthen their houses with the use of poles. They also cut extra branches of trees near their houses. As you can see the picture, the condition and environment during a typhoon. While this one in the picture, the condition and environment after the typhoon. Conditions after the typhoon. Houses destroyed during a typhoon need repair or rebuild. Pollen trees are removed and people evacuated return to their homes to clean the debris caused by the typhoon. Now let us answer the following questions. 1. What have you observed with the weather condition before the typhoon? 2. How will you describe the weather condition during a typhoon? 3. How about after the typhoon? Remember this, before a typhoon, dark clouds are formed, air is colder and dry wind start to blow. During a typhoon, strong winds and heavy rains, big waves in the sea, surging of winds in counterclockwise direction. After a typhoon, environment are flooded. Speed of wind decreases, damage plant and structures. Now that you know already the danger of the different weather disturbances, these are the things that we should do and remember to get ready. These are the basic disaster supplies kit, water, foods, Garbage bag, flashlight, whistle, first aid kit, mobile phone, can opener, radio. Now let's do the following activity. Activity 1. Draw three basic disaster supply kit during disaster. Activity 2. Write the most important things needed to be provided during disaster. Activity 3. Things to remember during flood. 
at activity 4, name the different weather disturbances and give one weather disturbance that occurred in our community. What did you do to prepare for it? Did you enjoy the different activities, kids? Submit it to me as long as you are done. My dear learners, I hope you understand our lesson for today. Good luck in answering your module.